Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use and access Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a great collaboration app that allows you to chat, share files, and hold live meetings with your classes. Microsoft Teams should be available on your desktop. It is a purple icon with the white letter T on it. If you do not have Teams installed on your laptop, we will go through the process on how to access Microsoft Teams via your PirateNet account, and also how to download the Teams application to your desktop. First, let's go ahead and open a browser, Microsoft Chrome and Mozilla Firefox are the two recommended browsers in order to use Microsoft Teams. Simply go to www.shu.edu and press enter. Once you are at the Seton Hall University webpage, please click on the PirateNet link at the top of the page. Please sign into your PirateNet account using your Seton Hall credentials. Once you sign into your PirateNet account, you will notice you have many chiclets available. In order to access Microsoft Teams via a browser, you will first have to log in to any one of your Microsoft Office applications. You may use either your Office 365 Mail, Microsoft Office OneDrive, Microsoft Office SharePoint, or any other Microsoft Office chiclet that is available to you. In this example, I will be going through my Microsoft Office 365 mail. If you do get a screen prompt, you may choose to stay signed in or only remembered for this one instance. For our purposes, we are not too worried about doing anything in your Microsoft Office mail account. It is simply to gain access to the app drawer located at the top left of your window. This is represented by the nine dots in the form of a square. Click on these nine dots and you will have access to all of the applications listed inside of Microsoft Office. Simply choose the Microsoft Teams account. This will load Microsoft Teams web application. The web application of Microsoft Teams looks identical to the downloaded software we will be using in a few moments. If you do not have your Seton Hall University laptop with Microsoft Teams pre-installed, you may access Microsoft Teams by doing this process on any other laptop or desktop by going through your PirateNet and clicking on the Teams icon. Once Teams loads, we will be downloading the software to your laptop. Simply click on your avatar at the top right of the window and select Download the Desktop App. The Microsoft Teams software package will begin to download at the bottom left of your Chrome window. If you are using Microsoft Firefox, the download will occur at the top right of the window. Once it is done downloading, simply single click the installer and Microsoft Teams will begin to install. Once the installation is complete, you should notice the Microsoft Teams icon on your desktop. You can also get to it by searching for the Microsoft Teams app through your search bar at the, at the bottom, simply by typing Teams. Go ahead and click on the Microsoft Teams app that shows up at the top of your search results and Microsoft Teams will open. Prior to using Microsoft Teams, you will have to sign into your account for the very first time. Simply use your Seton Hall credentials, which will be your short name at shu.edu. Once you put in credentials, you will be prompted for the Seton Hall sign-in account. Here, you will put in your Seton Hall PirateNet credentials one more time. At this screen, you do not need to put at shu.edu. It will simply be your short name and your password. Click on the Remember Me checkbox at the bottom 
so it will remember your credentials every time you access Microsoft Teams. Click the blue sign in button at the bottom to complete your sign in process. Microsoft Teams will now open in desktop mode. Once the installation is complete, you do not need to access Microsoft Teams via your PirateNet account any further. You can simply click on the purple icon on your desktop or search for it through the search bar at the bottom of your desktop. This is the Microsoft Teams application. On the left side, you will notice a navigation column, which will give you six quick areas within Microsoft Teams to jump to. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to locate your Teams, how to activate your Teams course, how to create a meeting, how to enter into a live discussion, how to add content to your individual channels within a team, and how to start a recording to any live meeting. There are two views within Microsoft Teams. This is the classic view, which allows you to expand any team and view all of its channels. To change the view, simply go to the little gear icon here at the bottom and choose Switch View. You are also able to change the theme of your Microsoft Teams layout or change the view of the layout. By clicking on the grid view, the view changes into a block type of categories here. You should now be able to see all of your courses within Teams. Each course in Blackboard has its own dedicated team in Microsoft Teams. The students should also see their course in this view. Clicking on any of your teams will load the team with, with its available channels in the second column. From here, you will be able to change the channels to see any specific ones. And inside of each channel, there will be a horizontal bar at the top that allows you to post announcements, upload files, create a wiki, or add any number of different applications to this channel. Clicking on the three dots on the right side will allow you to edit notifications specifically for this channel manage the channel, or open this channel within SharePoint. Going into the Files tab at the top of the window will allow you to upload documents to this channel. Simply click on the Upload button and search for any document on your laptop that you may want to upload to this specific channel. Any documents uploaded to this channel will be visible by any other member that is in this team. In order to start a live meeting, simply choose the calendar option on the left navigation column. Your Microsoft Outlook calendar will sync within Microsoft Teams. This way it is easily convenient for you to see which spots are available and which are already taken. In order to schedule a meeting, simply choose any white available spot on your calendar. Just make sure that the schedule that you do choose is sometime in the future. Clicking on any available spot on your calendar, Teams will now load the meeting details screen. This is where you can input a title, date, time, and you are able to add details to your meeting event. Simply add a unique title, choose a date, and a start time. If this meeting will be repeating, you can simply set that in the recurring 
section here, whether it is daily or weekly. If you would like to add an entire course to this meeting, simply click on Add Channel and all of your available courses will show up in the drop-down menu. You are able to invite an entire channel to this meeting. Simply click on the triangle to expand the team and choose which specific channel you would like to meet. You may add a brief description of the meeting in the box at the bottom of the window. If you have any outside users that you would like to invite to this meeting, you can do so within the second box at the top of the window. Simply input the full email address and they will receive an invitation in their email asking them to join the meeting. When you are done, simply click on send. The meeting will now initiate and will be added to your calendar in Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook. Once the meeting is done processing, it will show up in your calendar. To join the meeting, simply click on the calendar event. The information of the meeting will be displayed. Simply click on the Join button at the top right of the window. The first screen that appears will be the trial window. If you do get a message regarding Microsoft Teams as a security alert, simply allow access for all functions of Microsoft Teams to work properly. Microsoft Teams allows you to edit the audio, the video, and the background before actually entering the recording. Simply allow the audio and video to be either on or off, and you can now join the meeting. Once you are in the meeting, you do have multiple options to choose from within this floating bar. You're able to turn the camera on or off, turn your microphone on or off, you can share your screen with all the participants. You can access the options by clicking on the More Actions button. In this section, you have multiple options to choose from. From here, you are able to turn on live captions or start a recording. You can also show a conversation within this meeting. You are also able to view the participants of this meeting by clicking on the Show Participants icon. When you are done with the meeting and the recording, simply click on the red Hang Up button. Once it is complete, you will get a chat notification on the left-hand side with your recent meeting and recording in the top slot. Simply wait for the recording to be processed and you will be able to view it from here within your chat history. This has been a brief explanation of Microsoft Teams.